What's up, everybody? This is Peter again for Sports Hot Rumors and Debates. How are you guys? So there's a ton of rumors about Kyla Murray, right? And here's the thing. I've been a Cardinal fan for over 25 years. So, you know, I completely seen the great. I completely seen the worst. There's, I have been a huge advocate for Kyla Murray when I, we wanted to draft him and all these great things. And you can see the talent, right? Over the last few years, whether it's Cliff Kingsbury not putting him in a the great position or what, it's very hard to root for Kyla Murray when he has that attitude. And I'm going to explain why. He has this, and I know this is, sounds wrong, but he has this face that you just like, it's this miserable down face and looking to blame other people and none of it, it's his fault and just angry at everybody when it doesn't go well. And that is contagious, right? When you're not taking ownership or when you're at least not jumping up and down and celebrating or at least even when you're losing, patting your guys on the back, when you're not doing that, when you're just showing the world that, you know what, I'm tired of this team, I'm tired of it's not working well. When to be transparent with you, man, you know, you were half the reason why the, the team was losing in the playoffs, right? Now, I understand DeAndre was out, and but you, were, I, you didn't want to run. The, the things that made you who you are, we don't need, you know, Kyla Murray throwing the ball all the time. If that's the case, we might as well get a different quarterback that's a little bit taller that can do that. We got Kyla Murray for his playmaking ability for running down. Now, Russell Wilson had one of the worst offensive lines you ever can see. This man would run for his life, and they won back then, right? There was a reason. He didn't complain. He didn't put his offensive line out there. He just played, right? And he didn't have much talent around him besides Marshawn Lynch beasting, right? There was a lot of guys that he had to run around and make the plays happen. There were some good players, but, you know, not these DeAndre Hopkins type players. So Arizona is looking to you, man, as a, here's the thing. They're looking to you as their leader, right? And they're not getting it from you. Personally, I think Cliff Kingsbury, who I am a big fan of, hasn't taken that step that we're looking for, right? Now, whether it's because he doesn't have the right quarterback who's not doing it, or whether it's because he's making stupid calls, I think it's a little bit of both at some point. You guys are not helping each other. So what needs to happen here is when you did that crap online and when you deleted all these pictures and, again, acted like you were 15... This is making the team, you know, everybody question, is Kyler going to be there? And then Patrick Peterson, who said, so, as much as I like Patrick, said something stupid, oh, you know, you know, he's going to leave because Arizona's not putting him in the right position. You're the quarterback. You're the leader. You understand that? You got to be the right, the person who leads your team. Yes, the team has to put you in that, but, you know, you got to take some ownership into this too. Now, again, if they trade Kyler Murray, it is what it is. Right, because what I see right now is if, if things don't go right for Arizona, if he doesn't play well, or something happens, or the line breaks down for him, or something, he's gonna do it again, and here comes more shit. Right? Here comes more problems, more things, and we're gonna wind up breaking up a team and starting over. You're in a good division. Right? San Francisco does not have a great quarterback. And they found out a way to bust ass and be there. Right? You you just I'm gotta be a leader, man. You gotta be that guy, right? Not everybody has a fantastic team. It's just the way it is, and it's just really bad energy that Kyler is bringing to the team right now. He needs to come if the, if he's here. He needs to come. He needs to show up, and he needs to show it on the field. You can talk all you want, but if you don't lead by example, if you don't show on the field, if your teammate don't see you patting their ass and saying, you know what, it's all right, it's good, don't worry about that, and you just have that face like, you know, you're sitting there like that. That's You can feel that energy through the screen. And, you know, it's very hard to root for somebody like that too. And just watching you in the playoffs was just so bad because there were so many open lanes you could have ran. There's so many things, and it just looked like you chose not to. I remember LeBron back in then when Cleveland, when he gave up on his team, when it stopped happening, you know, when he was playing Boston, and it just looked bad. But at least LeBron played his ass off until he couldn't. So it's just, it feels bad because, you know, Arizona's banking on you. That you are the future. You are the guy that we need. You lead the team, right? Everybody needs that. You know, the, the first issue was keeping guys like Christian Kirk and doing all that stuff, which I've been saying for years. 
I, that's why I understand why you wanted C.D. Lamb and helping out the team because you needed more guys. I get it. There was no playmakers when DeAndre was out. I completely understand that. But there's still got to be some kind of accountability as a quarterback to say, you know what, this is my team. It, it goes with me. I'm going to run and die for that first down. I'm going to show them. Because when you do that, the rest of the team is going to fall in line. Now, do I think he should get traded? It all depends on what would be coming back and who's there. Because there's a lot of quarterbacks that would fit well with Cliff Kingsbury. And there's a lot of things that can happen. So if you're not going to run, if you're not going to break down, and you know you got a team like the Rams, they learned how to trap you. Right? They learn how to cut down the, the angles. You got to fix that. You got to figure out a better way. The same way they, they did with Russell Wilson, Russell had to figure out a better way. So do you. You got to figure out when to throw it, when to dump the ball. There was a lot of times there was guys open for four or five yards, but you chose to throw a 30-yard play downfield on third down when it was third and two. These are plays that quarterbacks that are great make the right decision. Either they're running for the first down or they're throwing a three-yard play. And that's on Cliff too, right? That shouldn't even be there, that play. Maybe once in a while if the blitz is coming, but all the freaking time I see that play. And you run out in a three and out. This is, it's a domino effect. You do that, you punt, the other team scores, you start getting down, start getting down on yourself. You have to play different. It's just crazy, all because you can't just do simple plays. It just doesn't make sense to me. Arizona is built. They have a good team. You, there's no way you should start out the way you started out last year and finish the way you finish. It's just not right. So do I think they should trade Kyle Amari? It I don't know how his attitude is in the in, in back there because I know the media pumps things up. But honestly, before I would have said, hell no. Now I'm open to it. Now if you come back on the field and you do the way I know you could and shut everybody up, and that would feel great because I do think you're a great quarterback when you need to be. That's just my opinion, guys. Let me know what you think. Talk to you later.